Welcome RTA Champions. After this epic info intro, we are going to be looking at custom UI selectors. In this video, we are going to see in a detailed way how to use custom selectors. We are going to use variables inside of our UI selectors and we are going to create some selectors that are going to be dynamic, that are going to adapt to different kinds of web pages, all kinds of uh, different uh, selectors that you might see on a web page so let's see this in this example this page is twitter twitter has some pretty complex css selectors that might be hard to uh, capture individually or just by recording especially because the selector is repeated now if we wanted to uh, capture the selector we can just spy it either using the web recorder or using the ui elements First of all, it's easier to get it using the web recorder uh, because it produces a cleaner selector. Now, if we uh, check out this process, this process is very simple. It just launches Chrome and then it has a loop that uh, loops to 100. It sets two variables and uh, after that, it checks the variables if they are nine. If they are nine, uh, it, uh, it, it sets them back to one, so it resets the variable. And after that, it does that for both the variable. And then the only action, main action that it does, it clicks on the like of the uh, on the Twitter page. Now this is kind of the hard part. And now if we uh, if we just look at Twitter, Twitter, as I was saying, is uh, uh, is a, a, Re <clears throat> a React page. So we're going to use our uh, dynamic variable inside of uh, inside of here. Uh, in order to be able to spy this. Now, I would suggest spying a couple of the different elements that you have on your web page. So now, in this example, the heart is the SVG that uh, that I have spied using the web recorder. It, uh, I'm using also two, uh, two selectors. Why? And I will tell you in a second. So this is the selector that was produced using the web recorder. Now, uh, as you can see here, I'm using a variable inside so just by using the percent and the variable uh, we can use our variable directly inside of our selectors so uh, i am also using two of these uh, selectors inside of the same selector and both of them are dynamic now let me show you what i mean i have spied uh, different selectors as you can see this is uh, a normal picture without uh, without the variable inside and you can see there is a number five now i have spied as i was saying different selectors so uh, here you can see one two three four five six seven uh, around seven different selectors and these are the first seven hearts that i spied inside of the application what we are looking for is changes any kinds of changes as and we can see that we found a change and that is the number that is incrementing usually we also see that there is another thing that changes and that is the div in one there is three divs and in another one there is two divs now for this reason we have two elements in our selector now this is uh, the variable that we are using inside to replace the number so we are incrementing our variable and increasing the number so that we are changing the selector and always clicking on a different path now if we just test this out and see how it works uh, once again just to recap what it is doing it is uh, getting the selector for the first heart it is inserting a variable of zero or one inside of it then it is going down it is sending keys to go down and then it's repeat incrementing the variable by one and then inserting the new variable inside of the selector so that we can click on a new path and that is it ladies and gentlemen i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have liked it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave me your comments about what you think about these kind of videos and what you would like to learn more about. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.